bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see Right guys, so here we come into the main reception area. I've not spent too long outside because it's pouring down with rain. Um, this is where people bring the repairs in. Um, there's a chair there where people can sit down and have a drink. Um, that's a commercial microwave oven I repaired for a customer. Um, but I don't think they want to be wanting that in any uh, rush because all the cafes and the restaurants probably won't be opening. Um, that's the counter. I've got one or two vintage TVs on display. That's a, a 1400 Fergus, which I've actually got going. I connect that to a skybox and have it on demonstration. A uh, little Sony telly, which I haven't got around to doing yet. Um, if we move over to the other side, Ferguson TX9, which I haven't got around to doing. No, not TX9, TX90, which I've not got around to repairing yet. Um, that's the main workshop through the window. I've also got, um, I'm a big collector of vintage radios, I like to restore vintage radios, so um, I've got radios absolutely everywhere. Table radio, black and white TV, uh, a repair for a customer which um, has not come back because I've been closed. Um, and uh, so that's the main reception area, so I'll stop the camera and we'll move on to the next part. Right, before we move on, we'll just cover one more subject, and that's comments. Now, um, a, a couple of months ago, a friend of mine said, I like your YouTube videos. He said, they're really good, but why don't you have any comments at the end? And there's a simple reason for that. I did used to have comments, but you always get one idiot that leaves a negative comment. So I thought, that's it. I'm, I'm not having comments anymore. I'm not putting up with this sort of thing. And the comment was... Um, I was just showing, I was just doing this YouTube channel to show off. Now, if I really wanted to show off, I'd show you this certificate. Um, it's when I did my um, City and Guilds at Chesterfield College. Um, I won the 2001 Len Briggs Award. And if you read it there, um, I was the only person to score 100% in the test out of 150 candidates in the whole of the country. So, you know, if I really wanted to show off, I'd just put a picture of this on YouTube and nothing else. Um, I'm also uh, trained by manufacturers. I used to be a Sharp dealer. Um, I used to be a Samsung dealer. I, um, I, I'm, I'm still a microwave oven repair. I'm qualified for that. I'm a qualified PAT safety tester. Um, but one thing you might think is a bit odd. This certificate is dated 2001. Now, what it was, I started my first shop in um, 1985. Um, I'm completely self-taught. I've no qualifications. And then one day I suddenly thought, I'm looking through a magazine and um, everybody who's offering a job wants qualifications. They want a minimum of city and guilds qualification. So I thought, well, I haven't got any city and guilds. I've got no qualifications. What happens if I need another job? I'm not going to get one. So what I did is uh, I booked myself onto a four-year course at Chesterfield College and um, passed me in City and Guilds. So there we go. You know, if I really wanted to show off, I'd show you that. So uh, bear with me and uh, we'll start taking a tour around the workshops now. Right, now just before we start, everybody, um, I just want to tell you another little thing about myself. I actually hold an Environment Agency T11 recycling licence, which allows me to take in faulty electrical goods such as TVs and um, to dismantle, um, to repair them, reuse them or whatever. So um, this is actually the old certificate um, which has actually run out now. I've actually renewed it. I can't find the new one. Um, but you're going to, when you take a tour around, we're going to see a lot of TVs about and um, this is why. Um, I just want to point out I have a recycling license that's why you're going to see TVs everywhere I mean that this place um, is actually um, it's 1700 square feet and it's absolutely rammed with stuff so let's start the tour then right okay everybody let's start the grand tour so you come in here 
uh, some microwaves there for recycling. Um, there's an old uh, wartime radio there somebody gave me. We've got drawers full of uh, plastic bins here full of parts. We've got TVs there for recycling. Um, if you take a look down there you can see uh, that gives you an idea how big this place is. Um, it's actually 1700 square feet and the whole place is rammed. So we come over here, TVs for recycling. That's one of the windows. Um, over here we've got uh, more and more drawers full of components, absolutely packed full of stuff. Vintage TV there, Thorn 8500. Um, obviously one day I'm going to get these going. Um, a Teletext TX9 black and white tally um, if we pan up here got more stuff here right up to the very ceiling and the ceilings about um, 8 10 no 10 to 12 feet high so you can actually see how much stuff I've got packed into here so um, all across the ceiling no space left on the walls to put anything so we come down here into the main bit, um, computer there running, receiving emails, a uh, little bench there, I do some electronic assembly work for a company on there. Uh, that's another window to outside, go up to the ceiling and uh, all stacks of capacitors there, that's the ceiling there, that's all ram full. Um, so we move on from here, um, little paste soldering station, you can never have enough. Um, the uh, Ursa infrared soldering station. Surface mounted tweezers, a couple of bits and pieces there. Uh, hot plate, microscope, and that's the bench isolation transformer I'll move back and uh, then we go up to the ceiling spare parts stacked on there um, over here we've got more paste soldering stations in case one breaks down you can never have enough uh, so we turn around that's the one of the main benches there I'll just turn around this way and you can see here um, more drawers here, all ramful stuff. Uh, more spare parts there. CCTV, that's watching outside. A few monitors. Uh, a bit more electrical test equipment there. And um, here is uh, another main bench. Um, there's a microwave undergoing repair. Um, commercial microwave, that's had a a new transformer in just uh, waiting to be finished till till the lockdown happens and all the cap is shut. Um, Thorn 1500 there, that was in one of my earlier YouTube videos. Um, on the top shelf over there I've got more vintage TVs, more monitors. So we've pan around here. Uh, just have a quick look at this bench over here. Got some more electrical test equipment here. And I'll just move back um, through the window at the back. That is the main reception area. Um, trip switches on every bench so nothing can go wrong. You can kill the power in an instant. Fire extinguisher. Very important in a workshop. Um, come over here. Pace soldering station. Um, top of the range one in its day. Costs £1,600. Um, lots of different tips move back now we can see the bench there in the background more test equipment some stuff I've built myself um, if we go up right up to the ceiling you see I've got stuff right up to the very ceiling um, come down here uh, more test equipment I built myself a long time ago. 
um, and you notice how all nice and clean tidy this is that's because during the lockdown i've had a good tidy up but the bad news is i've only tidied up this bit i've not tidied up the rest um the rest of the place you can hardly move in it so pan around there that's the other bench uh, more drawers with components in more and more components stacked up to the ceiling of course no room left on the walls to put any more spare parts uh, a little bit more equipment there yes a book on Mazda valves um, equivalent books uh, video alignment tapes another computer there so that's the um, that's the spare parts in the in the main room um, you always keep a few semiconductors in stock parts um, going way back into the 1970s um, I've got parts for 1400s, parts for Thorn 3500s. So um, that's another big bench there for doing TVs on. That's a 55 inch Samsung Tally. Uh, that's in for repair. Now, this is a part I haven't tidied up. Um, more spare parts here, more soldering parts. Spare heaters, desoldering bits, spare tips. You find all these drawers are all, they just haven't got one and they're just rammed. In fact, the whole place is rammed. So, um, I've got uh, all boxes of stuff stacked up here, a little old telly there. More stuff stacked right up to the ceiling. Uh, in fact what I'll do is I'll just stop the camera and I'll turn out these yellow looking lights and put some white lights on and see what it looks like. Right, let's see what that looks like when we walk down here. Yeah, I think that looks probably just a little bit better. That'll give you a better idea. Um, obviously uh, all under the benches is full uh, all under this one thousands of service manuals Tatung Video Sharp, Toshiba, Sony you name it it's all happening in here more service manuals um, I've got more service manuals believe it or not in the toilet because there's just nowhere else to put anything. Yeah, I think that's a bit better without the um, the yellow fluorescent lights. This is um, this has been lit by LED lighting now. And you can see the semiconductors uh, more emergency stop buttons under there's all full of stuff um, there's a little old telly more stuff here more stuff on the top shelf we go through the door that's the double doors there into the storeroom the spare parts room um, and as you can see, that up there is the ceiling. Right, so I'll stop the video and um, I'll just take you around back this way again. And uh, then we'll go into another room. Okay, so we've covered the main room. Now let's cover the storeroom.
or well it was the kitchen now it's just full of stuff you can't move so here we go put the light on right so if you uh, I'll just pan back a bit if you take a look we'll go up and uh, that up there is the ceiling uh, we've got draw drawers here for vintage parts uh, move around here uh, more TVs for recycling um, that is the kitchen or it was the kitchen um, more vintage stuff up there um, I like to buy things in bulk so a few milks in there in case you have milk Um, yeah well it needs a bit of a tidy up in here that's going to be a job for another day um, more TVs there for recycling more electrical goods for recycling some old hi-fi in the kitchen sink for recycling so let's start with um, well let's start with this side really then um, as you can see there's all boxes full of parts stacked right up to the very ceiling. I'll move down to the floor. That is the floor. Once again, it's uh, 10 to 12 feet high. Um, there's all stuff behind this as well. So I don't know what's behind it because you can't get to any of it. Um, but most of this stuff hasn't been touched um, since the day I bought the place seven years ago. So, um, hmm. one day you get tidied up. Um, so we move down here, this is the toilet, uh, that's the um, oil fired central heating boiler, put the light on, uh, that, that, that's the toilet there, and then if we move around here, um, I've actually kept a few video recorders in case, uh, just in case VHS makes a comeback, there's probably about 60 or 70 video recorders there. Um, they stack two or three layers deep so you can't see them all. Um, also in here we've got service manual store. Um, you can't see the bottom but that's the floor. And service manuals, there again. There another 10, 12 feet high. Right up to the very ceiling. Um, you can't see all the service manuals because most of them are covered with um, video recorders. Uh, so we go around there, more service manuals, more manuals, more videos, right, so we come out the toilet, and just give you, I'll just stand back and give you one more look, see if you can actually, I'll just pan up nice and slowly. And that there, finishing with the Ferguson feedback, is actually the ceiling up there. Right, so come out of here. Uh, more stuff there, more stuff there, more stuff over the top. Uh, there is a loft up there, I've started putting stuff in the loft now, so it's, it's getting quite full up there as well. So back down here, we'll start with the spare parts. So as you can see, oh there's a space there on the wall, look. I could fill that with something. Um, that's the door. If you look above the door, you'll see more spare parts stacked right up to the ceiling. Um, this is what a lifetime in electronics does for you. People say I'm a hoarder, but I don't think I am. I just collect things. So there's more spare parts of 70s, 80s TVs, videos. Um, if we just come down this side now, this will give you an idea how many parts I've actually got. Um, that there is the whole of the wall right up to the ceiling. With drawers full of semiconductors, resistors, capacitors, dedicated parts. I'll just show you what's on some show you what's in some of these drawers um, 
these are the ones closer to the ceiling um, show you what's in some of these resistors um, some of these things you might recognize if you're a TV engineer so we'll move down from the ceiling um, I've got a little bench here where I can just do the odd job on and move across here more parts right let's move back hope we don't trip over anything um, so you can see there's the there's the end of the building uh, now a lot of these things because they're here since I've moved in and not in any particular order so there's actually semiconductors here and half the time I'm looking for things I know where they are well I know I've got them but I don't know where to find them because this place is just so vast um, so if we take a look in some of these in no particular order um, none of these are really in any order um, talking about three th Thorn 3500s if you look at these these are the um, the flywheel diodes for the power supply got quite a few in there um, hmm. right so coming down here uh, another computer running here um, got even more parts there So I'll move back and then we'll move to this side here uh, that's the door there through into the reception and um, was the office but now you can't get in it uh, more stuff here um, and of course that's stacked up to the ceiling as well there's a light on the ceiling um, here I've got a rotating carousel which is Again, full of semiconductors, no particular order. Um, take a look and see if you recognise any of them. Probably not. Um, and uh, so we move from this side, CCTV watching outside. Um, here's another wall, which is again um, just completely ram full of transistors, right? To, uh, transistor and ICs right to the ceiling. Um, you can stand on something to get up yeah, you might recognize some of these now these are in order this is about the only one that's in order uh, more spare parts here I think that might be um, it's either a tripler off a Thor 9000 or a universal so I'll move back around here that's the rotating carousel um, that's nearly six feet high nearly as tall as me uh, again nothing's in any particular order let's rotate it round well it's got kind of got stuck there but if we go around there you'll see lots more TVs here for recycling move back so you can get um, get another view that just gives you an idea how vast this place is um, this stuff in here that I've had for 40 years that's never been touched um, So if we come over to here, I've got another workbench over here where I build um, I build amplifiers and radios and things. Um, that's another pay soldering station there. Um, that's a little valve, um, two EL84s, which I'm just in the middle of building. It's not finished yet. If I turn it over, you can see that... Um, there's not really many parts in it yet, I'm still in the middle of building that. 
uh, that's the backyard which I've also started to fill um, if we move back here um, there's a little space on the floor there where you can just stand um, stuff that's been here for donkey's years again right up to the light um, old TVs, we've got uh, a bad TV, um, Bush TV, the first one with the ultrasonic remote there. Um, Thorn 1600, Thorn 8500. Um, radio there, they're all up to the ceiling. Um, There's um, a few things on here I've built over the years. Valve amplifier that's been in the YouTube video. Um, that's a radio I'm restoring when I get round to. That's another radio I built. Uh, plenty of vintage stuff. Uh, somewhere down here is actually the floor. You just can't see it. More things there I've had from when I was a kid. Uh, valves. I've got that many valves, it's unreal. That's my old workbench when I was small. Uh, that's from my days when I used to sell new TVs. More TV valves, more vintage stuff. Um, if I pull that out there, this is um, an amplifier I built in. 1982. Put the camera down and get out of the box. There we go. Stood in its box for 38 years. Built it, never used it for anything. Um, I just like to build things. It's, uh, it's a hobby of mine. Yeah, there we go. Also, from my days in CB radio, we have, I'll just pull these down, show you these, that's how I can stretch up. Going back to, uh, yeah, we're going back to 1983, Midland 80 channel CB radio. I packed it in its box in 83, it's never been opened since. Um, there's another CB radio packed up, 1983. Um, one day I'm going to get these out, we're going to get them running. I bought a, a CB aerial, but uh, I've just not got around to putting it up yet. Another fire extinguisher, another load of stuff on the floor here. Right, so that is, that's the spare parts room. That's just... I'll go slowly, that's one wall of semiconductors. Coming back down here, rotating carousel. Pan up to the ceiling. Lots and lots of very useful things in here. Things that you'll probably never see again. Transistors for Thorn 3500 Tally. Um, I can't remember whether they're line output transistors or power. But, um, hmm. Right guys, well you've had a look in this room. Um, we'll, uh, we'll stop the camera. And then we'll just move to what used to be um, the office. Right, okay. Right guys, so let's go into the office. Um, I'll give you a really quick look in here and then we'll perhaps um, conclude the tour with some um, probably vintage photographs I've taken. Uh, right, so here we go. Here it is the office. As you can see, um, yeah, that's the ceiling up there. Uh, 
vintage TVs, vintage record player, more vintage TV, more vintage TV, um, more stuff right up there. Um, if you look down there, got a bit more stuff here, a bit more stuff there. Move back. Oops, something's falling over, some rolls of cable. Um, more TV parts, more old radios, old radio cases. Um, that's the main workshop through there. That's the door into the um, into the reception area. Um, this is where the office used to be. Uh, just somewhere over there. As you can see, there's TVs everywhere for recycling. Um, boxes and boxes of parts. Um, you can just about see the window in the background and um, once again they're stacked right up to the ceiling more stuff for recycling that's the window over there and that's where the office used to be another computer there a window Right, so um, that's probably uh, about all there is to see in here. I'll just move back, take one more video right from the very end. So as you can see, I do have um, quite a lot of stuff I've collected over the years. All very useful as well. Right guys, let's go back into here and uh, I'll see if I can find some photos to show you. Right, so there's um, a picture of my first shop, which I opened up in 1985. Another picture there, that's the inside of my first shop. Um, I started off um, doing reconditioned TVs, which we used to buy from uh, Mantles in uh, Manchester. Um, refurbish them and sell them. That's another picture of the inside of the shop picture there of the shop workshop um, interestingly enough um, most of the equipment you see on the shelf I still have well I would do once I'm a collector uh, move over to another one that's another inside picture of the workshop you'll see um, the little drawers there came from Woolworths with the semiconductors in um, I've, I've still got them obviously but I've got a lot more now um, that's another picture of the workshop workshop in 1985 another picture of the workshop that's um, it's a Sony Betamax video undergoing repair could be a C7 or C5 I can't remember now uh, that's another picture of the um, inside of the shop and the door through to the workshop also had um, a second workshop in the cellar that's um, that's a picture of the, the second workshop there uh, TV in the background could be a Bush T20 the small ones are Fidelity ZX2000 the ones where the line transformers used to go uh, Betamax video stacked up there. Um, oscilloscope in the background. Hey Meg, still have that. Uh, another picture there. The cellar where we used to keep um, old tellies for spare parts. Um, the one with the white sticker that looks like a rank bush Murphy. Picture there of me as a young boy when um, my dad made me a workshop in the uh, attic at home um, picture of me there repairing something uh, again most of the stuff in the background um, I've still got another picture of my workshop back from the 1970s um, the um, 
the scope in the corner was actually an engine analyzer that I bought from New Cross Radio in Manchester um, and I converted it into an oscilloscope. Another picture of me making something there. Uh, that is another picture of me making something. Now there's an interesting picture. Um, in that, that's taken in 1984. I was actually building a Mana Supplies colour bar generator from a kit and if we move back down that's it there all hand built from a kit and uh, we move over here yeah you should still be able to see it up there there you go so that's uh, yeah that brings back memories Another picture there of my old workshop. Uh, as you can see, I was collecting spare parts then, as I am now. And uh, a picture there, the attic room, um, the door with the registration plate on. Um, that is in the attic in my old house. That's where my dad made my workshop. Corner picture of my old workshop uh, in the 1970s. Them drawers, um, I've just shown you them in the other room. Still got them. Still got all the same parts in the ad nearly 50 years ago. And last picture. Um, that's a picture of me when CB Radio came to town. It'd be 1979, 1980. Um, that's a picture of my old workshop, the corner picture. Um, that's from the CB days. And um, that poster, that green one, I've still got that. I've got it on the wall in here. Okay, guys, many thanks for watching the video. Um, just before we go i'm going to show you one last thing i've dug out of my archives um this is my old scrapbook from 1971 when i was uh well I was born in 64 so i must have been seven years old and uh let's turn a couple of pages and uh picture of me lying on the floor playing with either well it's probably a radio um, and that's a picture of me mum sitting on the chair watching let's turn a few more pages uh, that's the a drawing of the inside of a radio we had under the TV long long time ago I seem to remember it was a Philips so there we go guys as you can see my obsession with electronics lasts or last um, as many years as I can ever remember certainly down to the age of six all right guys keep subscribing to my channel for more and um, I'll see if we can make some more interesting videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.